Welcome back to round 7 of the 1998 World Championship season here on F1 Challenge. I've actually recorded this uh, video twice already, but both times when exporting it, it just got corrupted for some reason. So hopefully third time lucky. Um, last time out at Monaco, the three protagonists, James Early, Dominic Foster and Taylor Cockwell, they all retired from the race. Um, Dominic Foster's first retirement of the season actually, and the first time we've all retired on, at the same race. So it was not very successful. It was quite successful until about halfway through. Taylor Cockbill crashed out. Um, the fast left-hander after the Nova chicane, I forgot the name of it. Dominic Foster had a brake failure and I uh, had a, my, my suspension collapsed after I crashed into the wall. So here we are at Montreal, Canada though. A completely different track. Here we are in qualifying as well on my one and only lap. As you can see, I actually made a mistake earlier if you, anybody noticed in uh, the second sector. But coming across the line, it's still a fantastic time. Beating David Coulthard's um, provisional um, pole position time. We've got 123.220 there, so let's see where that puts us on the grid. Here we have it. Michael Schumacher on pole position ahead of Mika Hakkinen, David Coulthard, James Early, that's me, in fourth position ahead of the Ferrari of Eddie Irvine, Damon Hill, the front-running Jordan in sixth position, just ahead of Taylor Cockbull, and then Jacques Villeneuve, the Williams pairing, Rubens Barrichello and the Stewart down in ninth, Dominic Foster rounds out top 10 with Ricardo Rosset uh, bringing the back of the field. Here we are then, 17 laps around Montreal, circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. It's dry, so we're going to go 6 laps, 12 laps, and then to the end. So 6 6 5. Uh, we, I tried to see if I could get a, a one stop going, but I can't put enough fuel in the tank. So we're going to have to do a two stop and hope that everybody else is doing a two stop as well. Wait for the lights. Three, four, five lights. And we're away. A decent start as well. Holding our ground. Eddie Irvine there. He might look up the inside, but we broke later into the first corner. We got that position. He's still sticking around the outside there, but we'll squeeze him out. We maintain fourth position. Michael Schumacher beaten off the line by Mika Hakkinen, who goes into first position. So it's McLaren, Ferrari, McLaren, Benetton. Ferrari at the moment, the top five. I think Damon Hill is in sixth position. As you can see in the rear mirrors, it's a Jordan. So it's either Damon Hill or Dominic Foster. That's only a 50% chance of getting that right. At the moment, just maintaining our position. I know we've got we've got quite a lot of straight line speed, so maybe that could come in handy. The curbs here at Montreal are they're horrible. As soon as you get caught on them, uh, the grip just disappears, you lose a lot of speed, a lot of traction. We almost went into the back of the... Oh, we actually, we do get into, go into the back of David Coulthard there. They, they seem to break the AI at mid, mid apex, like, like the hairpin for some reason. We're down the back straight now, into the slipstream. We're closing, closing. Coulthard actually goes defensive, or maybe he's going attack, uh, trying to attack Schumacher. He's a bit far behind, but he almost runs into the back of Schumacher there. Who, Schumacher goes wide then. I might have a good run on him down into the first corner here. Which side is he going to pick? Schumacher. Oh, they take the usual route and uh, <laughs> maintain position. We're going to try around the outside here of Coulthard, but he pushes us out. And uh, we stay in fourth position for now. Right, lap six, we're coming into the pits, and we've got to hope that somebody else comes into the pits, or at least a few other cars come into the pits, either this lap or the next. Otherwise, we might be the only uh, actual car on a, a, a two-stop strategy. The lead three, they go on. So, they're not pitting this lap. And everybody else seems to be going past me as well. Which isn't a good sign. Especially if we rejoin in traffic. This might slow our progress. We've just got to hope that other people are on two-stop strategy. Otherwise, uh, our chances of a good finish are basically gone. Ah, oh, Herbert's beat us out as well. We're out in 16th position, so we've got a lot of work to do. Here we are, same lap. Just a bit later on, about a minute later. Right at the back of Herbert, we're not going to waste any time here. Obviously, these guys have not pit yet. And we're on a heavy fuel then, so uh, they should be lighter. Well, perhaps faster, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, and oh, we've gone straight to the back of Trolley there. That's not good at all. Trulli broke really, really early for that last chicane, and I just went straight to the back of him. If that was real life, I would have got a penalty there for, for sure. 
one lap later, about to start lap 9, they're right at the back of Panis here down the uh, main straight to look for a pass. A few of the people have pit now, so if they've pit lap 8, they might be on a two stop, possibly. Made that position uh, pass really easily there. About to start lap 10, and everybody else in front of me is in the pits. As you can see, Mecha Hakkinen just coming out in front of us. He's in first position at the moment. It might be tight. Maybe we can throw it up the inside here. No, he's got the position. He's got first position. He's on in second position, but of course we need to pit again. Uh, whereas Mecha Hakkinen does not need to pit again. About to start lap 11, we're right back Mecha Hakkinen here. Obviously, we've got a lighter fuel load, so this should be easy. Oh, we lose a bit of grip there going through the corner, but we got the position nicely. That's us into first position. You can see, on board. Quite a simple pass until I lost grip mid-corner, but we got we made it. We've made it. We're into first. Here we are. Coming into the pits, end of lap 12. be interesting to see where we rejoin, as everybody else seems to be on a one-stop strategy. Pit stop complete, that's our last pit stop, and we're in 6th position, unless Dominic Foster can overtake us, um, which he can't do, that means we're in 6th, which is a points position, and we do not need to pit again, and as long as we don't make mistakes like that, we should hold on to some points here. Here we are, we're just the last chicane to go, Mika Hakkinen has won the race, Schumacher 2nd, Irvine 3rd, Coulthard 4th, 5th uh, will be Hill, and then we are going to get 1 point for 6th position. Dominic Foster and Jack Villeneuve right behind us. Here you can see the results. Even though we had an extra pit stop, we're only 19 seconds behind the lead. Uh, Foster and Cockbill do not score points. But we do. We move one point ahead of them. Or one point further ahead than we were before. Hakkinen and Coulthard tied for the lead of the Drivers' Championship on 39 points each. Irvine in third with 28. Schumacher in fourth with 26. And we're 10 points off him. For the constructors, McLaren moved further ahead than Ferrari, Beniston Jordan quite close together and Williams not too far behind. The next race, Magni Corps, the French Grand Prix, is going to be an exciting one I'm sure. I'll see you there.